hey guys, hey guys, um, here's how to, here's how to pay for sex with children and not get busted by having your Vim, Vimno account public. Here's the secret. I'm going to show you how you can use Venmo to pay for sex with a child and get away with it. Why is the mainstream media trying to help people like Matt Gates get away with having sex with children? Now, I admit this podcast is intentionally hyperbolic, but only a little bit. That little bit is the part where I'm specifically referencing Matt Gates and the part where I'm specifically referencing having sex with a child. However, the fact of the matter is, I was doing some research online for some other information regarding this story and I ran into two articles which add upon a trend that I picked up on days before in the news media. So in the news media on CNN, this is the first time I saw this, there was a story, I think it was MSNBC actually, they were talking about this Matt Gates thing and they had this lady on. And in her thing, she's like, oh, Matt Gates, he's such a dummy, such a dummy. He had his account on public. What a dummy. You've got to you've got to put your account on private. You've got to put it on private. Instantly, I said to myself, why is this woman giving advice on how to commit crimes? Now, I understand, you know, you uh, factually, a person watching that story, hearing that um, he had his account public. And that's how they caught him. So the explanation of that is technically enough information for a future pervert to avoid getting in trouble. But as the lady points out, it was kind of stupid to do what he did. I mean, the guy was dumb enough to do something like this with a public account, and it's a known thing. So, you know, we've seen a lot of criminals tend to be stupid, not all the time, but a lot of them do. So it's possible that they watch this story, hear that he got caught because he had a public account, and yet do the same thing. I mean, that that would not be shocking. We've seen this many times. Like, you like, think about in the middle of all this stuff, like, right, it's happening right now. We just went through a whole year of all these riots and stuff and George Floyd. And then you have police officers in Virginia pulling their guns out on a army captain or something. I mean, and I've seen so many things happening in the heat of, like, when there was all this protesting going on. I myself had an incident with a police officer. Me, well-spoken, Mr. Polite guy. You know, certainly don't don't fit the description of anyone that they need to be acting ridiculous with, but they acted ridiculous anyway while the nation was protesting. People are just plain stupid. And I guess it goes on both sides. So number one, you could have people who watch the videos, learn that he had his account public, and still do the same thing and get caught as well. Number two, you have people who would go on the show and advertise, hey guys, here's how to commit crimes and get away with it. I mean, think about it. You're, you're doing a story about a guy who potentially raped children. I don't know why people aren't using that word yet. Um, I mean, if the accusation is that he potentially had sex with a minor. Uh, I think that's rape. Because if she wasn't old enough to consent. Right? I digress. Anyway, so you're telling a story about a guy who potentially raped a child. And in that story, you feel it's a good idea to give tips on how to not get caught. Not specifically to rape a child and not get caught. But that is what the story is about. 
right? What is the thought process that goes behind? I mean, it's like someone commits a murder, right? And the way they get caught is because they didn't wear gloves and there was DNA. And then you say, hey, you know, hey, you should wear gloves. Guys, if you're not wearing gloves, then you're going to pass DNA and the cops can see it. So wear gloves. Now, you don't specifically say this is how you get away with murder. But if the story's about murder and then you're talking about the thing that the, the reason why we caught the person, you're saying how to avoid that. What? What possible reason could you have for giving advice? On how to avoid getting caught. So I'm doing the research. So I saw that. I think I saw somebody else on, on YouTube. Who made the same point. And I'm just like what What are you doing? Then. Tonight I was doing some research. Actually it was yesterday sorry. Um, and I ran into an article on The Verge. And Vice. One of them even did an entire piece on how to how to basically private your Venmo. Why? Why are we? <sighs> the most critical piece of evidence that ties Matt Gates to what he's being accused of came from his Venmo account being public. If perhaps Matt Gates was watching a CNN broadcast prior to his crimes and heard them say, hey, privatize your Venmo, we might not have the evidence that we have now. Are we a society that's so desperate for attention, for views, that we would give advice on how to commit crimes? We're so focused on, you know, ooh, what would be a good angle? What what would people want to hear? That we would literally be giving advice on how to potentially have sex with a child and get away with it. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. <sighs> this is the Debate Me channel. Debate Me in the comment section below. Click on the like button. Subscribe. Smash that bell. Be well. Let's see how many other people are going to also give tips on how to hide your Venmo. To be sure... Not a bad thing to put out there. But to use this story to put it out there. Yeah. I mean, to just do a video talking about how to do your vi- uh, keep your Venmo private. That's fine. But now by linking it to this situation, anyone of a similar mindset looking to do similar things is going to have a better memory of, hey, remember to privatize your Venmo. Good job, media. Maybe the next guy gets away thanks to you. Good work.